everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a task or a to-do item in your Outlook. Now you'll start in your inbox and now you'll need to go down to the task button here at the bottom. You'll click this and you'll be taken to your task list. I've got a few notes here already made and if I want to create a new task all I have to do is go to new task here and type out my information. In the bar you'll see there's a lot of options you can use per task. You can forward it to someone else if you're collaborating. You can integrate it with your OneNote notebook. You can manage your task by marking as complete, assigning it, or sending a status report. And you can also categorize it. I've got a new task and I'm going to type it out right now. Here you have the options to make a start date, a due date, a status, a priority. And these are the type of fields that go in to your email when you send a status report. You can also create reminders to remind you to do it later in the day or on a certain day in the upcoming week and you have the option to choose a percentage of how complete it is. So I put down a few more notes I need to reference when I'm ready to do this task. I'm going to set a quick reminder and then I'll be on my way. You'll see that the task I just created is now sorted into my next week categories. Now within the task tab you also have the to-do list. All tasks are included in your to-do list. However, your to-do list isn't always included in your tasks. The to-do list is a collection of emails you flagged in your inbox. So these are all emails that have been pulled from my inbox because I've clicked the flag button. You'll also see that my tasks are incorporated in my to-do list right here. Now in order to create a new to-do list item, I would have to go back to my Outlook inbox and flag an email. I wouldn't create a to-do list per se, I'd create a task, which is the option here in the upper left corner. You can play around with the views of your to-do list here based off how many details you've collected on it. Keep it detailed, keep it simple, have it organized by priority, and you also have a drop down of a few more options here. Thanks for joining us today on how to use the task tab in Outlook. We'll see you next time.